We are the only dedicated hockey training facility in Arizona and the only facility that utilizes synthetic ice. When you're skating on synthetic ice, you actually work harder. It's great for training. It builds up your muscles. It forces you to skate true, um, where you know ice is a little bit more forgiving and you can glide and be lazy. You can't do that as much as synthetic ice, so it's a great training tool here. We cater to um, every hockey player in the Valley. As long as you've played hockey, you can come in here and get better. So we have kids, like I said, as young as five. We have kids as old as 18. We have professional NHL players and players that play in the European League that come down here and train with us. Um, we have a couple of different options. So you can do on ice, private lessons, which is one-on-one, -on -one, small group lessons, capped at like eight kids to kind of get a team environment. We do team training, the self-guided workouts. We could just come in and use our facility. Today's new age with COVID and everything, we do online training options um, and, and really anything you're looking for. We really see that, um, you know, in a short time, we've really added a lot of value to hockey in the Valley. Um, we have tons of kids from all the different programs, all the different rinks here skating with us. Um, and we just see them every week in, week out, their, their game and their play and their skills uh, rise. So we, we, we truly think the sky's the limit for us. What we typically try to do is touch on all the basic skills. Um, every session that kids are here, um, skating, shooting, stick handling, passing, um, those are kind of our big four. Um, whenever kids come in here, we want to make sure we're touching all those uh, skills that are, that are necessities for the game. Um, so that's a basic, basic uh, kind of set up for us. Um, we want to make sure that the fundamentals are, are really showing through for those kids. So Jared and I were talking one day about uh, some of the gaps that are here in the Arizona youth hockey market. As a coach, he wasn't always able to get ice time that he needed. Um, ice time is very expensive here in Arizona, as you can imagine, freezing ice is very expensive in the desert. So he wasn't always able to get the ice time that he needed. Kids weren't always able to um, get on the ice as much as they wanted to skate. So we figured if we open a facility where they can come, where they can skate more, it's open to everybody, all ages, boys, girls, everybody can come and train here. Um, that would really serve the community really well. So we were kind of talking about how we're gonna make this work and threw together the idea of a unaffiliated training warehouse where everybody can come and train with us and we have both on ice and off ice. You can go online, you can give us a call, you can shoot us a text. So you always have a friendly face if you give us a call, I'll be happy to answer all your questions. <laughs>